time is actually slowing down and will come to a halt, says a radical theory. Uh, now, this is something that actually says maybe the expansion of the universe is an illusion due to time itself slowing down. Uh, that it's not actually accelerating, but time itself is slowing down. It says, if you think about it, time can really weird you out. What is it exactly? How do we know even real, you know, th that it's even real and not a concoction of our brain, so on and so forth. Uh, one team of scientists looked at time from a different perspective. They considered the fact that the universe appears to be speeding up in its expansion and wondered, what if that's not really happening? What if instead time is actually slowing down? Not only that, one day it might come to a complete halt. In other words, time might actually end. You know, there is a, a Bible verse in Revelation that says there, there, that, that at some point time will be no more. We don't know how literally we can take that or what exactly it means, but I did talk about it in Abbott on Ascending, and it has to, uh, the, the, the way that I talked about it there kind of has to do with this. Uh, continuing on, the, the idea came to Professor Jose Senovilla and colleagues uh, Mark Mars and Raul Vera of the University of Basque County, um, uh, uh, Bilbao, at the University of Salamanca. They thought that rather than supernovae moving away from us, indicating that the universe's expansion is speeding up, we are not actually getting farther from anything, but time is slowing down, so the light is taking longer to reach us. There is no mysterious dark energy under their theory either. Um, so, you know, they say, quote, we do not say the expansion of the universe itself is, is an illusion. Uh, what we say may be an illusion is the acceleration of this expansion. That is the possibility that the expansion is and has been increasing its rate. So it says, what will happen once time stops altogether, perhaps in billions of years from now? Then everything will be frozen like a snapshot of one instant forever, explained Senevilla. More specifically, in the paper that they published, the scientists propose a theory that sees our universe being made or, or being inside a multidimensional brain uh, that floats through a higher dimension of space. And again, like I said before, if space-time is curved, it's got to curve into something. So it makes, it makes sense that there is higher dimensional space for it to curve into. Time under this theory is the fourth dimension that's slowly degrading into a new spatial dimension, uh, which is kind of interesting to think about. It goes back to the very beginning of this whole episode uh, that what if time is, is just a type of space? Um, and, and that's kind of what they get into uh, get into here. 